Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the DK61E 60% mechanical gaming keyboard. This one is the Gatoron Optical Brown Switch. It is wired and retails for $55 on Amazon. I'll throw a link in the description if you decide to purchase. The specs on this are IPX4 certified for spills, ergonomic design at 8 degrees, PBT double shot keycaps for wear resistance, hardness, and oil proof, detachable 4.11 Type-C L-shaped cable, optical switches for faster pressing, it comes with a user manual, one keycap puller, one switch puller, two replacement switches, a blue mechanical gaming switch, and a brown switch. Here is the keyboard, as you can see, and it is a wired connection, so you can have that Type-C right there. We're going to do a sound test right now. Using the included keycap puller, I was able to take out one of the keycaps and put it on one of the blue switches that was included, is what it sounds like. So yeah, very loud and very aggressive. They should have included a red gaming switch, but it's whatever, I guess. Be Anyways, we're going to get into the modes. So as you can see, this is a, like a little ripple effect and do through the different modes, as you can see. So you have like a ripple effect for one of them. Right here you have a little snake mode. Um, you can change the colors in the settings. And you have a little wave, you have a little type of explosion thing, a little cross. This one is um, like an after effect, so every little key you press it will illuminate for a split second. It's like ghosting. This one is like a different colored mode and they have rainbow wave. Tons of different modes. In here, and you can go into the settings, you can change the specific colors, so if you want the ripple effect to be only red or only a certain color, you can do that in the um, keyboard itself. And you can also download the app. Overall, this is a really good keyboard. It has a really good weight to it as well, and for $50, it's definitely worth it. Also, it has little indents on some keys, which you can do certain extra buttons technically. Since this is a 60% keyboard, you can't fit all the buttons. You have all the FNs on the bottom, you have some of the volume up and down, and page scroll up and down and stuff like that, and um, all built in once you press FN. Um, right here, I'm going through all the cycles. Like I said before, you can change the colors to a specific color. Like if you wanted a wave to be blue, you can do that. Or if you wanted multicolor red. So I'm just going to be going through all of those colors and demonstrate them in the rest of the clip. But without further ado, this is the end of the video. This is just an overall amazing keyboard. It's kind of hard to get used to a 60% keyboard at first, but I was able to get used to it after about a week. But, um... After recapping it, it is definitely, definitely worth it. I can now see why it has so many good ratings on Amazon, because it is a really good keyboard overall. And um, yeah, I definitely recommend you guys check it out. Um, link is in the description if you would like to purchase, and um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.